First time I fucking woke up on the moon, I was doing fucking push-ups. Someone gave me uh, celery, but there was no one else on the moon, so I said this place is fucking haunted. And went outside to fucking moon bathe. I saw there was two sets of fucking Blair Witch footprints right beside a fucking picnic camper. That fucking terrified me right to my core. There's no way of saying otherwise. In space, I was ready for most things. Good night's sleep. Being the moon champion of fucking everything, throw a hacky sack out into the fucking cosmos and it wouldn't come back. If you took an aborigine into space onto, say, Neptune or Uranus, got them throw a fucking boomerang as far as they fucking could <laughs> out into fucking space. <clears throat> There's no way it's fucking coming back. What did you win up in space, Neil? Anything good? Fucking God help me. <laughs> I look like Walter White. Mm. Sorry, that guy's a freak. Is he having a stroke or something? Neil, I want to ask you again. What is your best space accomplishment? And is it better than on Earth? Because anyone could win in space. You're up there alone. What are you talking about being haunted? Did you take drugs in space in your suit? The psychedelics you've taken have blasted your mind and left a cavernous canyon, similar to the dinosaur asteroid. How do you answer those recommendations? Look at me when I'm giving out to you. My grandmother used to say to me, she said, Neil, do you want to hear a good rhyme? If you're in a tree and you spot a bee, go to Pluto, get the fuck away from me, and ask myself if I had Usain Bolt on the moon, would I run faster than him, considering I could poison him? A gang member in his fucking Tesla, and he took a shot at me. Could I blow out of the air? Come back, tell everyone the story, sell to YouTube.